Hi everybody, my name is Erica Ulrich and I am an Executive Regional Vice President with Arbonne International. I wanted to come in here today and share with you guys a little bit about how, how I suggest getting over this certain feeling that I know a lot of us experience when it comes to our business with Arbonne and that is this, I feel like a fraud. And I'm going to be totally honest with you and tell you that I have felt like a fraud in numerous different points in my life. And so if this is you, if you're sitting in your business and you're going, you know, I want to share confidently, I want to cast big vision, I want to tell people what's possible and where I'm going with this business and, you know, how I'm leading and how I'm changing my health and all of that, but I, I feel like a fraud, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experience with it and hopefully you'll be like, yeah, me too, and then we can work on getting it over it together. So... First time I remember recently as an adult feeling like a fraud was in my photography business. I used to run a photography business before Arbonne and I loved it. It was something that I really, really cared about and I loved the art of it and I would spend a lot of time just perusing through Pinterest and trying to see different editing styles and lighting styles and things that I liked and that I wanted to emulate in my work. And so I would take a great picture, right? And I would use that picture as marketing material to share my business and get people to book me so that I would take their photos. And I'll be honest with you, that picture was the best one out of probably thousands, you know, like I had done many sessions and there were many pictures that I had taken that did not look like this one best picture that I used to market myself with, but that's marketing right? And that is still my picture. And I still took it and I can take work like that. And I can do that sort of lighting and those sort of effects. And that is a prime example of my best work and work that I do and what I'm always seeking to create, right? So is that fraudulent for me to put that best face forward and that best image forward and, and say, this is my work, right? And so then I started to get more confident in my photography business and I raised my pricing and I tried to charge what the more popular photographers in our area were charging and the whole time I felt like oh I'm such a fraud I'm not really a professional I didn't go to school I you know I I work like part-time and I also have this other property management gig and I'm really just a mom and I like kind of have a camera and I well, you know, if I had advertised myself like that, no one would book me, right? But that is how I felt a lot of time on the of the time on the inside. And so I wonder if you are feeling this way in your Arbonne business, that you want to share with people what this business can do for their lives, for their health, to do the 30 days program with you, to for their, their wealth, right? To, to start a business and partner with you and join your team, to switch their products from toxic, chemical-filled garbage to our clean, safe, pure, beneficial products, you know, you want to take people by the hand and lead them somewhere, but you don't feel good enough to do that. You don't feel ready to do that. And so a lot of the times it happens with our 30 days, like maybe you are not at a place in your health journey, in your, you know, transformation journey that you feel like you can speak confidently to this program and that people would want to follow you. Well, one, be a product of the product. So if you're doing your best and you're following our 30 days program and you are using our products and you are a product of the product, you probably have an amazing transformation story. Does it mean you're at the end of your journey? Probably not. I don't think any of us are at the end of our health journey, right? Nobody is at the end of their journey, no matter what they look like, what size they are, how many pounds they've lost. I've lost 50 pounds doing the 30 days to healthy living at this point in my life. And I will tell you that today, before doing this call, I had three slices of pizza and I'm ready to get back on on Monday. So everyone is constantly getting back on, starting, trying again, failing, trying again, moving forward, you know, like making changes, making progress. It's all about progress and not perfection. So you've got to let that perfection piece go. That is my first tip to helping you not feel like a fraud. This tech, the second tip is this, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't be fraudulent. Don't lie. So if you feel like a fraud, make sure that you're not lying. So if you're telling people, I have a band, I'm a regional vice president, and you don't, that's a lie. But if you tell people that you're going to be a regional vice president and you're going to get a Benz, that's not a lie because you get to control that. You get to make that happen. You are in control. The only thing that would make that a lie is you quitting. 
That's it. That's the only thing that would make that a lie. In any other circumstance, if you keep putting one foot forward in front of the other in your R-Run business, that is a true statement. You will be an RVP and you will get events. So step one is make sure that you let go of perfection. Step two is don't lie, right? Don't quit. Keep going. Keep moving forward and make sure what you're telling people is truthful. The third thing, and this is absolutely hands down the most important thing, is to remind yourself of your value and what you are bringing to the table. You are a valuable person. You are worthwhile. You have a gift in our bond. You have health that people don't have. You have knowledge that people don't have. You have safe, clean, pure beneficial products other people don't have. You have a business opportunity that is going to create wealth for you and your family, that is going to create so many opportunities for you to be financially stable, to have time freedom, and to give back in this world that other people do not have. You have a lot of things other people do not have. And you're not standing on a podium bragging about how great you are. You're reaching your hand out and saying, come with me. Come with me. What part of that is fraudulent? Right. And so back to the photography business story is that I would have my clients come to the session. I'd be like, hi, I'm Erica. I'm a professional photographer. Right. And I'd put my best face forward and I would take my nice camera out and I would take pictures. And there were many years, you guys, that I felt like a fraud. And if you were to interview my clients about how much they loved their photos, they'd say they were the best photos I ever took that I had ever taken of my family, that it was the best experience I ever had. Erica was patient with me. She was good with my kids. She delivered images fast and, and in a timely manner, better than anybody else I'd ever expected. She was able to Photoshop that giant pimple that I had on my chin and she made me feel confident. And so all the while I'm sitting here on this side of the conversation, feeling like a fraud feeling not good enough, feeling unworthy of charging what I'm charging, feeling nervous and timid and scared. And over here on the other side of the experience, people are going, wow, I really love Erica. And they hired me time and time again. I have thousands of clients that hired me for 10 plus years. So the only thing that's missing here is me seeing the truth of the situation, right? That's the only thing that's amiss. It's not that I was a fraud and I defrauded these people successfully, right? They got their pictures and they love them. It's that I wasn't capable of seeing who I was and what I was bringing to the table and that value. And I wonder, looking back on my time as a photographer and my photography business, could I have charged more? Could I have delivered a more premium service? Could I have even grown in my technical skills and my technical ability? Could I have grown in my ability to connect well with others and photograph them even better? Had I been stepping into the truth of who I was and owning what I was able to do? And so I wonder that for you. Are you owning who you are and stepping into the truth of what you're able to do? and dismissing this lie that you're a fraud, you're not a fraud. You have a simple, easily laid out formula for success and you're on your way and you can take hundreds and thousands of people with you if you drop the heavy weight of feeling like a fraud. And if you step into the title and the truth that you are successful and you are powerful and you are transforming lives on a daily basis with this gift that you have to offer. All right, I'll talk to you later guys, bye.